वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गाइज इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड काउंट प्लॉट एंड टूडे सेशन वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वायल इन प्लॉट सो एज द नेम सेज इट एक्चुअली लुक्स लाइक द वायल इन एज वेल लेट्स हैव लुक ऑन हाउ डज दिस प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक दिस इज हाउ द प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक ओवर हियर यू कैन सी अ स्मॉल डॉट इन बिटवीन ओवर हियर इज कॉल्ड एज द मीडियम दिस इज द मीडियम वैल्यू ओवर हियर हियर ऑन द टॉप वी हैव द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर इन दिस इन एट द बॉटम वी हैव द third quartile as you can see the distribution over here the width over here gives you the distribution that at what place the distribution is more and now we will be having a look on how it can be created so to create a violin plot first of all we will be importing seaborn as sns after that we will import matplotlib so matplotlib dot pyplot as plt after this we will also import pandas as pd So I'll be importing these three libraries. We don't need NumPy over here, and Pandas also. If you are using a data set uh, or data frames over here, in that case, you can use Pandas. So I'll be using a predefined data set from the library, and for that, I'll be writing df is equals to sns dot load underscore data set. Which data set we will be loading? We'll be working with the tips. Let's have a look on all the columns that we have over here. For that, I'll be writing df dot head. and open close the parentheses let's run and see so I'll, as soon as i run it i'll get all the columns which are there in this tip data set so we have total bill tip sex smoker day time and size which have different values over here now we are plotting a violin plot over here if you want to plot a single violin plot over here for that what we will be doing we will be writing here sns dot violin plot and our x value is equals to so x is equals to uh, we will be talking about one column of this tips Okay, so I'll be writing tip, and in the square bracket, I'll be passing total bill. So as soon as I run it, it should not be tip, but uh, our DF should be there because the data is there inside the DF. So in our DF, we are talking about the total bill column. So now if I run it, it gives me a data like this. Over here, the median is somewhere around eighteen to nineteen. We have the first and the third quartile over here, and the distribution is more towards between ten uh, to twenty over here. Okay, this is how a violin plot is plotted. Now let's move ahead and plot different types of plots in our violin plot. So this is just about the x-axis. Suppose if we have the y-axis as well for x and y-axis, why how it will be working? Let's have a look on that. So I'll be writing sns dot violin plot, and if I take the x data, so my x-axis would be let's say the total bill, and the y-axis would be the tip. So total bill x is equals to total underscore bill, and y is equals to tip also my data is coming from our data frame so i'll be writing data is equal to df as soon as we run it we'll get the output something like this so we have a lot of data on the x axis so let's reduce the x axis over here to let's say 6 and if i run it i'll get the output in this way that we have male and female two types of data over here based on their tips that means we are seeing that uh, based on the genders uh, how much tip a person has paid so so the maximum density over here is between 1.9 to um, 2.4 or 5 something in both the cases and i guess in in the cases of male it's around 2 and in the cases of female it's around 2.1 to 2.5 the median we, the median value over here the median value is represented by this small dot small white color dot over here So this is how a violin plot can be plotted. So suppose now we talk about the different functions over here. So first of all, I'll be giving a hue. For hue, I'll be taking days. So I'll just make sure if it is days or day. Okay, so it's day. So instead, I'll write day. And if I run it, I'll get the output in this way. So we have in male, we have four categories: Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And in female, we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we have different violin plots for all different of them with different medians as well. Similarly, if I talk about the other functions, like suppose here I would have added the color. If I want to define the color over here, we can write color is equals to let's say pink. And if I run it, I'll get the output in pink color over here, which is something like this. Similarly, you can define the palette as well over here, so we can write palette is equals to, and you can get give any uh, palette over here. So I'll be giving where it is, and as soon as I run it, I'll get the output in this way. So this looks so much better than that. and there are more functions that we can use over here for example i'll be writing sns dot violin plot okay so so far we are getting the vertical plots what if we want a horizontal plot for that we will be writing it in this way so y is equals to 6 okay and our x would be equal to so i'll put a comma x is equals to tip and the data is coming from our data frame so data is equals to df and as soon as i run it i'll get the output in this way so this is what this is our horizontal violin plot 
Now if I want to use a split function over here, there is a very interesting split function over here. Let's have a look on what is there inside our split function. So I'll be writing sns dot while in plot. After writing sns dot while in plot, I'll put I'll open parentheses over here. X is equal to so let's keep the x axis as the day and the y axis as the tip. So y is equal to tip. Our data is equal to df and Let's just run this much as of now. So if I run it, this looks like this. Let's uh, separate it based on hue. So I'll be giving a hue as gender. For gender, we have sex. And if I run it, I'll get the output in this way. So right now you can see we have two plots on each and every day. One is for the another one is for the female. If I use the split function over here, so for using the split function, I'll be writing split. It takes the value in true and false. It's not exploit. It's split. So split is equals to if I'll put it as true, true as a boolean. And as soon as I run it, let's see what we will obtain. So you can now see that it has been combined into one single violin plot. The left value is indicating the male part, and the right value is indicating the female part over here. So this is how a distribution looks like when we use a split method over here. Similarly, we have saturation as well. So suppose if I would have taken it up to here only, I'll just paste this data over here, and I'll be writing saturation is equals to 0.2. So if I run it, this is how the saturation looks like. Similarly, here you can provide with the orders as well. So if you want to define an order, that in which order you want to obtain them, you can define the order as well. For example, over here, if I talk about this plot here, we have male then female. Suppose if I want female to be coming first, that the Plot of female should come over here first. The, for that, I'll be writing order is equals to in the square brackets. I'll be passing female first. So is female in capital? Yes, female is in capital, and then male again is in capital. So female, and I'll put a comma and give male. And as soon as I run it, I'll get the output like this. That on in our first order we have female, and in the second order we have male. Lastly, if I talk about the width of the line, you can see over here we have uh, some lines over here in the corner and the edges. If you want to, if you want to increase its uh, width, for that you can give line width. That line width is equal to let's say three. And if I run it, so okay, I do not need to give it inside the quotations because obviously it's an integer. And if I run it. I'll get a line width of a three over here. If you want to make it even more deeper, then you can go for four. And gets more darker and darker. So whatever line width you want to provide it with, you can provide it with by using the function of line width. So I hope, guys, that the violin plot over here is clear to you. That first of all, if you want to create a single violin plot for one single column, how you can do it, and on a one single axis, how it can be created. After that, we have discussed about the color. If you want to give a color to it, and you want to define the x and y axis, both of them, and then provide the color to it. Next, you, if you want to give an order over here, suppose if you here we can see. That the data is in male and female. Previously, it was in male and female. And if you want to redefine the data and write female first, then in that case, you need to write order and in the square brackets. That means in the format of a list, we will be providing female and male. After that, we learned about the palettes that you can provide with the palettes and the hues as well, which we have covered in in our previous charts as well. Next, if you want to create a horizontal violin plot, in that case, you can just swap the x-axis with the y-axis. That means you don't have to give the values, or you do not have to change the values over here. All all you need to do is you need to write the y-axis first, and then you need to write the x-axis. And the y-axis you can provide the value which was there in the x-axis before, and the x-axis you can provide the value which was there in the y-axis before. Next, we use the split method. That suppose if we, with the help of you, if we are getting two violin plots over here, and if you want to combine them and create Create a single violin plot, then you will be using the method of split, which is which takes the values as boolean, and you can give the values in true and false. Lastly, we have saturation and line width. That means you can define the saturation of your plot and also the line width. That if you want to increase or decrease the width of the line that is there in our uh, violin plot, then you can use the line width function. So I hope, guys, that the violin plots are clear to you. In our next session, we'll be talking about the pair plot. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.